This might be the single most fun AI model that we've looked at in 2022. My mind gets blown every day with these new models, but this one was too far. This is whack. I'm gonna give you a bit of context so that we can play around with this and understand what might be a bit of a specialist field. You've probably heard me talk about a former life more than a decade ago when I served as a sound designer to some of the biggest acts of the planet. I was system engineer for Korn, played around with Metallica and Katie Lang and Sinead O'Connor and the list goes on. As a sound designer, a live sound designer, you're looking at listening to the room, adjusting the live performers through microphones, through speakers, so that the audience is happy. That's pretty much all that's being done. When I was behind the desk for these shows, I would spend a lot of time making sure that the sound was perfect. That's the job. So here I am at one of Lloyd Webber's shows. This is Cats, the musical at the Taipei Dome. And the room is huge. I think this seats 20,000 or 30,000 people. We had a huge VDOSC line array. I still remember the terms, even though it's such a long time ago. And the audience in 20,000, 30,000 different seats, they all deserve to hear the best possible sound. And to do that, there's a bit of engineering, there's a bit of physics, there's a lot of uh, understanding of acoustics and microphones and speakers, but there's also a little tool here inside all of the different monitors there behind the console. I've got a view of the musical director, I've got a view of the processor, I've got a view of the actual console. There's a laptop there on my left that is feeding a live visual of the sound. And that laptop is feeding me a spectrograph in this instance. So it's a graph of the frequencies that it can hear coming back to it so it can visualize it. We're gonna talk about spectrograms, which is a, a 3D version here. And uh, it's kind of simple and worth understanding, even though you might not encounter it day to day. This is what it looks like. So we've got a live version here that you can go and play around with. It's built into one of the Google Chrome experiments, but you can have a listen to something like the bass inside this. Pretty easy. And then also, what we call a treble or the, the very tops, the high frequency. That is all the spectrograph is doing. It's mapping frequency to time with amplitude or loudness as the color. So there's a few different things going on in one picture. Really, really useful for a sound engineer to pick feedback or to say there's a little bit of resonance in the room at this particular frequency, let's bring that down. A harp gives us a pretty good indication of lows to highs. Here's what a harp might sound like. You can see that plotted pretty simply there is going from the top all the way down to the bottom. What about some super high frequencies? Here's some birds. <laughs> You'll notice this is all in the high frequency and it's showing what's happened over a bunch of seconds. Here's a, a sampler or a drum machine. Notice the kick drum triggers the waves at the bottom and the snare maybe towards the middle and the top and you might be able to hear the hi-hat there, at the very top, the very high frequency. All right, there's the crash course in Sound Design 101 or at least a tiny little bit of it. Just to understand that sound can be visualized into an image. Here's where it gets funky. Artificial intelligence has large language models which can take any sort of symbol and generate a completion to it. Artificial intelligence, as you've seen, also has text to image models. We've looked at so many of them, Google Imagine, Google Party, Ernie Vilge, uh, there's a, a bunch more on the YouTube channel. There is a very famous one at the moment, the most popular one called Stable Diffusion. It's got millions of users, got something like 200,000 developers registered for it. And it's very, very open source. People are tuning it to do different things, <laughs> including a couple of guys that thought just for fun, just as a hobby, what about if we took a spectrogram, 
an image and then played it back. That would make sense. That's possible. Aphex Twin did something similar back in the day where they embedded particular images inside their spectrograms if you played their CDs. But we're kind of reverse engineering this. What if we use the text to image model, stable diffusion, fine tuned on spectrograms and allowed people to enter in text prompts, generate an image, a spectrogram, and then played that image back. And this is what we get. They've called it Refusion. It's trained or fine tuned on Stable Diffusion version 1.5. This is the interface for Refusion. You can go and play with it right now. The servers are sometimes overloaded because there are a lot of people using it. And have a look at one of my favorite examples, Eminem style anger rap. <laughs> It actually sounds a bit like him. The lyrics, of course, are a little bit mumbled at the moment. They don't quite make sense, just like fingers and hands in stable diffusion. But we'll definitely get there where we'll have lyrics in any language being derived, conceptualized by the artificial intelligence. If it's not stable diffusion, it'll be something else. Here's another example. I used to play the Electone a very long time ago. It's the Yamaha electronic organ. What if we gave that to JS Bach? Here it is, Bach on Electone. Here's one called Human Music. Post-teen pop talent show winner. This one's classical Italian tenor operatic pop. Here's a K-pop boy group. That was so awesome. All right, let's sum up. In the middle of 2022, we didn't even have these kinds of text to image models that could generate amazing things like stable diffusion, like uh, Mid Journey. The version four version of Mid Journey is outrageous. And then it's taken six months for some very, very smart people to go, wait a minute, what if we linked text to image to music? Outside of what we did with SymphonyNet, outside of what we do with OpenAI's Jukebox, both using kind of symbols or language to get there. This one is using pictures or images to get there and it can overlay contrasting, very discreet styles of music. Right now, today, this is my favorite thing to happen this year because it's so out of the box. I, I don't know where they came up with this. Two humans came up with this, two genius humans and expect AI as a super intelligence to be even smarter than this and to help us very shortly. Have you considered linking X with Y with Z to get solutions to this or that? It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Play around with this yourself. I put a link to Refusion in the description. I've also put the live 3D spectrogram, which you can play around with in Google Chrome. There's a few other instruments that you can press play on and see what they look like as well. But have a play around with Refusion because this is bleeding edge. This is just in the last few days. No one had thought of this from my coverage of all the different papers. No one had thought, well, let's use text to image to get to music until this month, until December 2022. Absolutely outrageous. Join me with the memo. This is the last call we've got users from the Rand Corporation, from Stanford, from Duke. I saw someone in there from Apple the other day. 
jump in on that in the next few days because as soon as January the 1st hits, we bump that fee up. So get in at the old rate. Once you're in, you're grandfathered in for life at the rate that you lock in at. So when we bump up on January 1st to a new rate, you'll keep your old rate. I'd love to see you in the memo and thanks so much for tuning in. See you again shortly. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Life Architect dot AI slash memo. I have the memo.